Hello, and welcome to my lily pad. I'm Load Toad. Today we're playing Mist Survival. In a nutshell, players take on the role of a survivor who has avoided contracting a virus that's turned the rest of the world into infected monsters. Besides avoiding the random dense mist that brings forth hordes of the infected, players must navigate the wilderness while battling the elements, as well as other less than hospitable survivors. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Okay, here we go. Brand new start. Missed survival. And look at that, right off the bat. <laughs> nice. Okay. Thing. Oh, yes. Loot it all, baby. Loot it all. Uh, can't carry that with us. But, in the meantime, what was that? Oh, blueberries. Eh, don't need any stinking blueberries. Okay, hey, welcome to my stream. I absolutely adore this game. This is so much fun to me. It is one of those games that, um, I mean, I don't, I don't even like to play. Uh, oh, look, it's... <laughs> It's another backpack right off the bat. Mine. Um, I don't. I don't like to play scary stuff. Um, some people might not look at this as scary. I sure do. Uh, there's something about the atmosphere and everything. I mean, just everything about this game that uh, that is amazing to me. You know, when when that when, when the mist comes in and. Uh, starts to, to permeate you know you've got like a minute two minutes max uh, before it's uh, it's all over the place and uh, I check that already but anyway it's it's all over the place and the neat thing is that uh, after that time I mean it's 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 the big warning of course but uh, you know you can you know, you have time to, to try to hide. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a, a place to, to stay before that happens. But, okay, where are we here? If this, yes. Okay, you see this down here? This is a bandit camp down there. And I don't know if you can see or not, but there might, you might be able to see some people walking around. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway. So that's a that's a key part of this story. Basically, uh, uh, mysterious mist, you know, comes in. You know, as you know, I'm sure that you read the uh, the intro there. Um, but other people have been left alone. They uh, they're okay. But the problem is that um, there's the, the the people that are left behind, it seems, are just. Oh look, another backpack! I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> these people are are not friendly. They've decided to start their own communities, and uh, and be bandits. They're bad people. And. Um, no, I'm not saying that all bandits are bad people now, okay? So, please don't take that the wrong way. Oh, look at that. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Okay, I just got a spark plug from that car. And look, it's a car over here. The neat thing about uh, these cars, the one with the little driver guy means... There's a quiz. Ready? What do you think that means? Yeah, you got me. Okay, so that means that we can fill it. We can fill it up. <laughs> that means that we can uh, fix it up and take it with us and travel around the map at ten times the speed of uh, what we currently uh, can walk. 
So that's uh, that's uh, that's something to be to be very very happy about. Um, there's two types of cars that you can get. One is that SUV over there. That's not an SUV. That's an SUV. But anyway, uh, the other one is a red pickup truck, and that red pickup truck has uh, an incredible amount of storage space in it because you can stack things up in it, all up in that, and uh, just, oh my goodness, I mean, you can just have so much stuff, and that means that whenever you find a suitcase, you find a box, you find a file cabinet, whatever it might be, you can stack them up, and I think there's there might be a limit on the, uh, you know, how high you might be able to have it uh, before things don't quite <laughs> travel with you. Um, but the nice thing is, is that uh, you know you you can you can get quite a bun- bunch of stuff in it, and and I'm just thrilled that we found we found what we did. Um, look at this. Oh my goodness. Right off the bat. Okay. So this is, uh, this is what one of the things I'm talking about. File cabinet. Here's a suitcase. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're going to take it downstairs. Ah, well, that was that would not have been good had I fallen. Come on. There we go. Ah. There's, some people make this look so easy, and, and I'm sure that it is. Uh, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just nervous. I don't know. But... Whatever it is, we're going to get it down here. Okay, next thing. Let's go up there and uh, get that suitcase. Storage is so very important here. Um, whoops. more storage you have, the more you can carry around. Duh. But that's the name of the game here. Because the uh, more stuff you have, the more you can you can basically survive. Okay. These animals, uh, these animals can be hunted down. They can be uh, they can be eaten. They can be uh, used for um, for hides, they can be used for feathers, uh, they can be used for their goods, uh, so that you can work on um, work on making a bow, making a, uh, a quiver, uh, just some, it, it's, it's just awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, what we want to do is... Uh, Things that are stackable is what we want to be able to have on our person. Um, okay, I got water. This is a uh, rag. I, don't, I, I can stack, but I don't really need to uh, at the moment. So, okay. So, that other suitcase right there, let me bring it just a little bit closer. We're not going to take it with us, but, but when we uh, get ourselves a vehicle... Or, once we get our place up and running, we'll be able to uh, start, uh, you know, running, a, you know, we'll start to be able to run around and, and get the things that, that we need to get um, quite easily. And so, wherever we decide to build, uh, we will be coming back, we'll get our stuff. And, of course, I can't remember, yeah, we were already over here. So I'm fine with that. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we're at least safe uh, during during the mist. 
we have got to make sure that we're out of here um, and and secure by the time the mist gets here. Okay, look, the bandits, okay? So we're just going to avoid them. Run across here, looking around a little bit for bears that normally don't come out this far, but um, you never know, right? You just you, <laughs> you just never know. Um, okay, the whole key to this entire game is basically uh, surviving. I mean, things aren't going to get better unless you make them better yourself. Um, oh, look at that, a knife. Combat knife. Oh, and we found another one. And we'll take those as well. Okay, so we're going to take that with us. Well, let's put it in a place where we know that we're going to see. Uh, we'll see it from the road, but we won't run over it, so we'll do that. Now, if I remember correctly... There is a white house that's really close by, and that's what we're going to try to go for uh, as our, our first excursion out into the world of mist. And uh, just a little note on the infected uh, out here. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I guess they're infected. They're not really zombies because technically they're, they're alive. So... We'll call them infected. But there is a white house. And there it is. And you see that red thing just below the file cabinet? That is the pickup truck. Now there's several pickup trucks around the game. But uh, I guess I don't remember there actually being one at the house. <laughs> Which is a nice surprise. Okay. So... Let me just put this down. Whenever you come across a, uh, a house that uh, you can use as a headquarters base, um, just a place to, to hang out, I guess, uh, you can use it as your active base. So you click it, and then that way, if you're ever knocked unconscious and you come to, uh, that's where you're going to come back. You're going to come right back to the I'll, I'll come back to this house. I'll take you on a tour here shortly. Let's see. You know, I want to use my mouse wheel as I turn things. Um, hey, don't judge. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, and drop it. How close did that get? Not close enough, but that's okay. Let's go upstairs to the master bedroom, shall we? Okay, it's huge, it's gigantic, it's a small master bedroom. Okay, check all your drawers. Check your drawers! <laughs> oh. Okay. A little bit of ammo. Got 12 gauge shotgun shares, we've got 9 millimeter. Okay, whoop. I, you know what, since we're here, let's save it, shall we? Okay, let's go to the next room. Okay, good little dresser here. Nothing. But the nice thing is that you can use every little bit of storage around here that, that you want. Uh, put whatever you want into that. You know, I hear that uh, even a car engine will fit in there. Okay, nothing in here, but come with me. Here is the kitchen. It's a nice size kitchen. Plenty of stuff in it. Look, there's absolutely nothing in it. Okay, um, but anyway, what was that? Revolver ammo. So as you can see, there's going to be more than one type of of, uh, of uh, weapon here. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Oh, stuff. Nails. Nails are going to be important to have because you got to nail stuff. Uh, more matches, which is good. For our fire, salt, salt, food, and food.
you know, I don't know why I'm doing this because um, we need to take a step back and um, make sure that we are secure before we do anything. So I, I guess I'm just excited to, to show you my house. My own little lily pad in game, right? Okay. All right, nice garage. This is a great place to, you know, have uh, different types of workbenches and stuff, whether it be ammo, workbench, or just a regular workbench, or a work workbench, or lumber, uh, wood cutting station, that sort of thing. Um, you can do all. You, you you'll see just how how much you can build around here. It's absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so. Uh, this first day, if the mist comes, uh, let's see here, it's uh, not quite 10 o'clock. So if the mist comes, uh, we want to be safe. So we don't want to, you know, be all over the place or too far away from here. Um, so what the plan is, is that while we're while I'm out, um, this wire, this wire tower, this this water Use your words, load. Use your words. Anyway, we can climb up here. The infected can't climb, so we're safe. Sometimes, once in a great while, there might be something up there that you can use, but there's there's nothing today. Um, so anyway, let's come on down. And uh, because there's only a... a I say a short period of time. The, uh, I know that there's going to be a short period of time before the mist comes out. Man, oh man, when it does, uh, you got to be holed up because let me tell you something. That these infected will beat the ever loving, <laughs> the ever loving snot right out of you. Uh, they are, they are relentless. Uh, these these guys, <laughs> these guys, uh, ten hits. 10 hits and uh, you're unconscious that's it and uh, you know they'll they'll steal your wallet you know do some identity theft you just never know these guys They're bad news oh look at that okay that's a surprise I don't know why okay all right now there's uh, there's two different types of uh, a vehicle here. Uh, those that you can interact with. Uh, some of them have. Well, let me show you again. So you can see there's uh, 0.69 liters of gas of gas here, and um, you can if you have a jerry can, if you can find a jerry can anywhere, uh, you can siphon that gas out and. Look at two two liters. That's uh, about three quarters of a gallon, I guess. Um, and uh, you can use that gas for your own vehicle, like the red truck over there that I need to find parts for uh, in order to, to fix that fix it up. So what we want to do? Let's come over here. Um, sometimes they have a. Well, I can't get up there. Can't get up there. Well, poop. There we go. And yes, it's an M4. We will take it. Looking for mist. We've got about a uh, minute and a half to two minutes maximum. Oh, a tire. Cool. All right. Yeah, it's not a not a whole lot of not a whole lot of time uh, for that for that warning of the uh, you know when the mist gets here and um, so we got to make sure that we're safe, we're sound, we don't keep falling around like I'm doing. Okay, empty container. I'll take it. We can put some dirty water in there and then clean the water up. Okay, building blocks, building blocks. Okay, 
the the components in the scrap metal are the building blocks that we need to survive here. Oops. And I think, yeah, I can't hold anymore. What? What? What do I? What is? What is going on? Uh, let's see here. I can. Okay, let's let's do this again, and then we need to head on back to the house and drop off some stuff. There we go. Yeah, because I'm full up, man. Uh, let's see if there is another, or yeah, another. Let's see if we can find a uh, another filing cabinet that we can carry around with us. Is that a backpack? I didn't remember this. Okay, well, we'll take it. We will take it. Okay. Let's see. More of that stuff, more of that stuff. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see here. At this this and let's eat that because we love the food here okay we'll drink just a little okay we're good all right and uh, think we're safe okay so we're gonna take this we're gonna run it over um, and then we're gonna call it a day here in uh, Mistville. We need a name. We can call this the swamp if we want, but man, I'd sure hate to... live here. Let's see. What do we want to call this place? What do we... <laughs> What's the name of the town that we want? Toadsville. No. Uh, let's just say Miss Survival. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just call it when we're playing Miss Survival. Where, where do you, what's the name of the town? Uh, Mist. <laughs> oh, well, that was different. Okay. No! Okay. Boy, for a second there, I thought we lost it. Okay, let's get the heck out of Dodge and head on over there. We're doing good. We're, um... I mean, I, I can't fix the the truck up just yet, but uh, at least we have at least we have one, right? Okay. All right. Let's see if we can move this around a little bit. Okay, and then the same with this one. Look at that cuckoo clock. Man, that thing is crazy. <laughs> I think my OCD is <laughs> catching up to me here. Okay. Um, while we're here, look at that. Oh my goodness. I am so happy with this. Oh yeah, we got lots of 
lots of stuff and I will take every bit that the game will give me every bit every stinking bit of it because uh, the more you have the more you can do um, let's see here let's keep that hammer on us we'll keep that we'll keep that uh, go okay all right this is nice all right so um, let's uh, let's go up here and um, let's see if we can find some more stuff hold on a second okay good all right more stuff we have the more we can uh, the longer we can survive so um, I'm trying to keep these videos down to about 30 minutes so I just kind of want to uh, run through here just real quick see if we can uh, find anything look another one okay and we'll just uh, pick this up and go out the door with it. The door. Okay. Let's see. Um, anything else over here? Yeah, didn't we already go through this? Yeah, we sure did. Okay. There we go. Okay, good, good. Now, if we uh, we find something important, like a auto part, um, a big auto part, like an engine, uh, sometimes they do spawn up here. Uh, if it if it does, look at that. We have a pistol, and we've got that vest. Okay, and I absolutely love these uh, military crates. Absolutely love them. Um, the more I play, or the longer I play, the the more I'll uh, I'll get these containers, and uh, you can have quite a few of them. I, I've had. Uh, between, oh, I don't know, um, what, five or six, five or six of those containers, and uh, a lot of lockers. You can build these lockers, too, by the way, uh, which is really nice to have, uh, but the, the thing you have to remember, too, is where did you put your said locker? Look, there's an engine first time I've ever seen an engine here and a jerry can what <laughs> what are the odds I'm serious what are the odds of all this okay okay um, before I do anything else I'm gonna save this there we go okay okay saved and we got this too so this has just been a wonderful wonderful uh, excursion today oh my goodness and you also have to remember what which way is out <laughs> so it's uh, it's not hard it's not hard to uh, to get turned around let me tell you um, but hey we got ourselves what is that is that three lockers now a military container um, we got ourselves a, a pistol. All right. So let's take the larger of the two, which is this, and let's go for it. Let's take it down there. And we'll call it a... We'll call it a recording. 
Hey, you know, uh, while we're while we're doing this, I wanted to share something with you. I it's been on my my mind for for a while now, and that is, you know, I hope that you you can look at yourself and be happy with with who you are. Um, you know, you do you. I'm sure that. Uh, I'm sure that you try. You try to be you. Don't try to be somebody else. Try not to be something that you're not. The thing is, if you're silly, if you're serious, if if you are who you make, who makes you happy. Um, you know, you like your sense of humor. You uh, you like to joke. You like to play around. Um, if you're serious, um, if you're a comedian, if you're a, you know, into into, you know being a thespian or anything like that you know you you do that but you know it doesn't matter what you do the important thing is is that you do you you know don't don't worry about what other people think just you do you be happy with your life be be happy with who you are um I can't stress that enough. Uh, you know, there's enough. There's enough uh, hate in the world. There's enough uh, negativity to last anybody a lifetime. And I think that you know, at least as long as we're together here on my channel, that you might be able to relax, put your flippers up. You know, have a nice cold one, chew on a firefly or something. Um, Whatever it might be, just just relax and you can be yourself and just let yourself go. And with that, I wish you an awesome day. I thank you for coming to visit with me in my lily pad. And I only have one more thing to say, and that's keep your nose to the wind and your tail to yourself. Ribbit, baby.